G'day and welcome back to our Family Man campaign in EU4. So I was hoping to get a PU over Naples instead of come in as a vassal. I've um, tried to Google whether that's how it's supposed to work or not, but haven't been able to find anything, so that's fine. Uh, Ottomans, truce with others. Us is over. Neapolitan pretenders. Um, that doesn't actually bother us. Although, no, you break out of PU, they can't break out of vassalage with pretender rebels. So that's all fine. Uh, we're waiting for this war to end. Have we done any of this? I know we didn't, but did our guys. Yeah, 5%. Somebody went up there at some point and did something. Probably the Austrians. And General Anton the Taxi is no more. We just love another one. So let's go chuck in CG von Siegeland again. And just get back to trying to improve. So yeah, we just need to end this so that we can integrate Aquileia and then after 10 years we can integrate Naples rather than having to wait for 50. So I guess it's fine that they're a vassal. And um, they also give us land, not land, um, cash, 0.5. It does change what we can do with him. We can seize some of their land, pay off his debts, and will scootage. I don't think so. At least he likes us, so that's yeah, all good. Finished declared war. Reconquest on Serbia for Zeta. Uh, that'll be interesting. And what does Naples have claims on? He's got cores down there. So next war against them, we just force him to release these back, and that'll be done. Hmm. And England still holds the board. That's interesting. Luca has left the coalition. Serbia wants access. Go for it if you want to die. Uh, Ottomans are at war with Serbia as well. It's going to be a separate war, right? Yep. Just taking advantage. Hungary, Wallachia. No, what? Serbian conquest of Slavonia. Okay. Serbia, well done. Uh, non enforcement of ordinances. Ptolemy and. Yeah, take the autonomy. And next idea is for manpower modifier. Will actually help. And closer to Diplo rep. Next one's the army tradition decay that matters as well. Alright, Livonians are out. Seeds, Goldingen, Lake Garland, and Mittau to Lithuania. Good. Um, I did check. We are von Habsburg's in charge again. It's only four countries. No, three countries they've been trying. Alright, uh... Salt support, etc., etc. December of 84. Burgers might not have enough. 34. I do want the extra diplo, so we're going to have to give them more land, unfortunately. Low trade income. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, do we have anything? <laughs> Ferrara. The only one we didn't take. Uh, nothing up there is ours. I was looking as well. We can declare war on Denmark. Wanted to get started on these guys first, though. On their annexation. So, no, nothing that's important to give them. Well, in that case, let's give them Ancona, because it's got high autonomy. Papery, but it's fine. Increases them to 42.3. Alright, and then we can... Recruit a minister. Oh, it's the half price inflation reduction. It's actually one we might want to use. Then we can demand 100. Clergy, we seek support. We send an emissary and then we demand 100. Nobility, do only demand 10%. Uh, clergy are spot on. Alright, we'll call the diet and we'll grant the generalship and then we'll demand 100. So, new general was Bruno from and to Goldegg and Lindenberg. I have seen that family before. It was one of the towns in the south. But he's a 0 2. The siege is the only thing going for him. And there we go. Napoli. Take care of these pretentious buggers. Mazakaras. Alright, um, the other problem was Castile. No, he's got an air now. He was going to become de Valois. Rather, he stayed to trust Mara. And Burgoyne still wants to become von Habsburg. So that's all looking okay. 
Yeah, trust my R's, yeah, both male heirs. Alright, you trick declared war on Jaure. I guess it wouldn't matter too much. Might invalidate our thing if Aragon lost this in an Iberian wedding. Hmm, I mean, he'd keep it. We'd have to go with. Yeah, no, we don't want that. I mean, if they form uh, Spain. Which I'm not sure if they have to hold Granada. I don't think they do. You just have to kick the. Um, Islamists out. The question of rights. Cede Abruzzi to us. Wouldn't be worst. Lose our claim. I mean, we're going to take it for Diplo anyway, so. No. I mean, it's not a core. It's just a claim. Just renounce it. Makes them happier. Makes it that much easier to integrate them on time. So, let's grab that royal marriage. Legitimacy is terrible. And Castile have entered their golden era. Now, unfortunately, he's allied to France. That's the reason we couldn't do anything to them. Um, he's seriously doing these last. Well, this one's going to be the worst. Danzig. Who's actually in charge of that? Aquileia. Love it. Alright, um, we could separate peace for Danzig. And add it to the HRE. Poland won't like it. I can't make it a core. Thought you're allowed to do it if it's bordering. Must just be if it's inside the HRE. Okay. Combat train in mountains. What was the extra one we got? Embrace Renaissance. All right. Um, war taxes probably. Cavalry infantry. No, not doing colonies. And we shouldn't really be fighting mountains anyway, so let's go for improved war taxes. And let's get some of these now. Extra three ducats a month. We are rooting out corruption rather successfully. Uh, everything is being caught. Malta. And what's Sardinia's deal? 21 years old. Oh, East Frisia has been added by Oldenburg. Thanks, buddy. Um, would people vote for the next one? They would. Let's make sure that happens before the uh, Protestants start forming. Von Mecklenburg. Alright, apparently we don't need to worry about subjects. Let's pull him back. And might as well improve with these guys a little more. both of these. Alright, um, yeah, if we can't do anything with it, we'll at least block Poland from getting... Well, Mamel's... Yeah, we're blocking from getting both. Uh, it is the conquest of Mamel. Theodora will cede Crimea and Yerushkul. Well, do you know I was getting a little larger? He's a um, HRE member, so we're going to have to defend him over there if he ever gets attacked. And I guess we're not going to separate peace after all. So he's definitely going to take Königsberg. Absolutely. Becomes a Krolevich. Um, yep, yep. What do we get? Three favours. Not a huge amount, but we do want to call him into wars when we can. So, next rival, probably Muscovy. England or Bohemia? Yeah, no. Um, Ottomans double our size. Mamluks. Mamluks would actually be good. Alright. Drive them. And I keep forgetting we are down here. We can fabricate on Tunis. Maybe at some point. Uh, I'm going to keep him in there. Cologne. Mecklenburg was the least important of these, I believe. Yeah, how's our papal influence look? Gain minus eight. Can, yeah, we've still occupied Rome. Uh, do keep meaning to give this back now that we're at peace. Lose a little prestige. That's fine. Return Rome to the papacy. All good. Okay, uh, you're welcome, by the way, buddy. Still don't want to ally him. But yeah, now he likes us. Return to province is only worth 25. But he's now well and truly within the HRE. And what was this? Venetian noble rebels. 
the nations out there will never be able to get across. No. Alright. Um, four, three, two, one, zero. Annex these guys. Done in September, two years from now. So now we will gain three papal influence. Not huge, but okay. Hang on. And then he's died. Well, that was close. Alright, Juana. Would have been nice if that was a weak claim and this was a. Uh, what are we called? Von Habsburg. Oh. Now, where is Genoa's capital? Genoa's capital's over there. You bastard. He's not in the HRA anymore. Okay then, um, we could go to war with the Pope. Quest to share our map of the Pontic Steps. Go for it. Access from the Pope, absolutely. And our influence over Unholt has expired. Um, we don't care about that. I was doing that to get them so they wouldn't break the PU. Long, long time ago. That's fine. Oh, I don't like how close together these guys are. Alright, Trade League of Genoa is disbanded. Ulm has left the coalition. Aggressive expansion is horrifying. Venice is out of the... No, not. Really shouldn't do it. Allied with the Knights since... Well, it'd be nice to get over to the Knights. Um, Muscovy has formed doubts. Oh, do you have? Who cares? So what was it about to look for? The Naval Force Summit. 0.15. Sailors only get six per month, so we still can't really do much. So I guess there's no point having trade. Uh, what we will do, though, is get up to our 15 force limit in galleys. Costs 155. Maintenance is half. It's fine. Um, I guess, yeah, we need a lot of sailors. I want to say how many sailors that is. Galleys. Should tell you it's somewhere, shouldn't it? 100 sailors, we can make 6. Alright, forget it. It's not going to be worth the money. So we won't be able to take out these guys anyway. But, next problem is army freshism. 28. I want to get those events to bring it up like five at a time. Hmm. Alright. Done in Cologne. So we can integrate these guys in 94, I believe. Yes. Will this be high enough by then? With a gift? Maybe. Lose stability, gain corruption. It's just money. Uh, which means nodal officers is now too expensive. That extra 1%. Must have been on 343. It's fine. So, tradition decay, gone. Diplomatic relations, up. It's up to 11 out of 8. Effectively gives us an extra 2 points a month in Diplo. Access from Utrecht, we accept. Alright, now, um, Bohemia. Ooh. Zapotabrad will become von Habsburg. Okay, hopefully. Um, we wanted to go to war up here. Can't call in Poland because of his attitude. But we can call in England, Bohemia, Planet, and Saxony. Uh, we do Imperial Ban and then I don't try and get Sweden or someone as another vassal. So let's just confirm that. Sweden have honoured, Norway have honoured. We outnumber them pretty well to start with. We'll get to Oldenburg first. Uh, we have 3353 three, and 1432. They are the best ones to go with. Okay. Admin tech, five years ahead of time. Probably not. Um, we're going to be... Actually, you know what I never do is the one at the end where you need like 50 in your capital. Let's go for that now. What are we up to? 33. Do we want to... 
I don't know. Probably not the Diplo so much, not too higher. Um, Maltese, whatever. They're okay. All right, so by development. Almost. And get everyone up to a 20. Uh, what is... No, I should know the order by now. Colonialism. Ouch. That'll take time to get over here. Castile, hopefully, will be the ones to get it. It's got exploration. Portugal will have exploration. Aragon has not. France does not. England, hopefully, does not. Good. Alright, so need to keep an eye on these the Potabrads. And the Poles, we're definitely going to win it. 55, so it's just a matter of waiting. I have a 145 in there. And we're now just. It's not bad. Alright, uh, never actually moved the army. Mantua's been full annexed. Okay, um, let's go here and here. Get the Palatines out. We can demand Luca return. Alright, what did they just full annex? Mantua. Wouldn't do it because he hates us. Up oraged. That's not going to change. It's fine. They can keep it. Mantua's never got coastal access anyway, so it's fine. And we can make a state out of Sicily. Um, yeah, we want to take all that in the next one, so let's do this now. Würzburg's entered a coalition. Excuse me. Um, need 40. Right. Give it a couple of days. Okay, Malta is ours. Um, let's get a guy down here. Just open up the extra option. Put up a Spinoak on Tunis. this Munster versus Scotland, that's fine. And we've integrated Aquileia, so Diplo rep comes down, but Diplo points come up by another one per month. Alright, got that. So let's get both of these guys. Oh, they're already doing good. Um, I guess we just go stand here for now. Don't know if we'd be able to get access through there. Ooh, Danish Russia. Alright, Holstein. We've got our war goal. We absolutely don't need to help out. We actually did. Um, that's not. Because we'd get in and chances are it wouldn't go well. So, Naples is at 162. We'll recall for them for now. Um, anyone we need to improve with? Cologne. And Mecklenburg. Oh yeah, um, should probably face Oldenburg out. So, let's forget about the Poles for a bit. And we lost Siege von Siegeland. Oh no. Swift Peace. Make him a vassal. Let's not. Let's take war apps and ducats and um, release. East Frisia, because he'll be in the HRE anyway. And all your alliance with Denmark, because that's just lame. And that's it. It's fine. Alright, goodbye Oldenburg. Leave us alone. So, welcome to the Empire, East Frisia. He loves us. He really loves us. And we'll land to the clergy. Um... Well, high autonomy there, so I guess that's going to be it. Puts them up to 71.3. It's not the worst in the world. Bavaria's left coalition. Uh, Still so trying to improve with Cologne. Fine. Milan's left. Good. Okay. So yeah, England's on our side here. Why do we have... Oh, that's Aquileia. Doesn't put us over, so that's fine. Um, I guess we'll just put him in there for now. We need this guy to go there. And there's Swedes there, so if we could get 
closer would be nice. I guess we'll just go stand in Schleswig. Suffer some crazy attrition. There we go, everyone else leaves. And we can call in Poland. Let's not. Pretty sure we can handle this one. Especially with the English actually going in to do naval landings. Hopefully they'll get the boats over here so we can cross across to Shelland. Zealand. Now, Austria is running this. Um, now, we'll save the military power this time. I don't think we're in any real hurry. Oh, he's... <laughs> I forgot he had no legal heir before as well. Only 71. He'll become still von Wittelsbach. It's unfortunate. Love to get the PU on him and take all three, but... I did rival him long ago. Infertile means he doesn't even want to get married. Okay, then. Um... Norway stops being a subject, becomes a subject of us. I mean, clearly Sweden's the only one we're going to do. So that's the goal of this war. Choose the unknown You know, while you're standing there, no. Keep thinking you can do it on occupied territory. That's be your own actual land. Oh, and this is Imperial Ban, this war as well. So, um, yeah, we're taking Holstein. Holstein. And I'm going to forget to send them back after the guy dies, so let's support air in there. Big loss for England there. Now, oh, come on. And how are we actually looking? We are up to fourth. That's a good start. English definitely going to die. Don't bother reinforcing that, buddy. Alright, we have one colding. There are boats in the way, so we can't get out. Go these ways. Austria is going to East Scotland. English are going to die. <laughs> Alright, um, Hungary's left the coalition. No, anti coalition. Didn't we get them close? 61. Okay. France shouldn't be allowed. No, nowhere near. Ottomans love us, apart from being rivals. Alright, um, we need to stand in this. North Jutland. Depends where they go. They're going to stay there? Good. And we just need them to push these damn boats out of the way. England have heavies, and... Denmark, Norway, Sweden don't. So we just need them to actually come through. As we could tell them. Go to Ursund. Dude, you'd be enough to kick them out. Hmm. I don't want to have to walk all the way around to Sweden to get started. But I guess these guys are probably waiting here to do that. So, alright. we get access through Poland, it won't get us through Lithuania automatically. But I guess... Well, we'd have to do Muscovy and he's our rival. Unless he's rival Denmark, which he has. On zero. Um, well, let's go improve opinion with them for a bit. And start going the long way around. Hey, we inherited a light ship from Aquileia. Protect trade in Ragusa. That's interesting. Um, no, Venice. We're topping the Ragusa node because of Naples, I assume. Austria, straight out us. What do we own in Ragusa? Inland caravans provide 50 trade power. Okay. Stop crisis. Oh. Now they want to come out. Well, if you want to come out and play. Looks like there's boats moving around. There's a lot of Swedes there. Alright. Um, Austrians have gone over this side. 
somebody just get the boats in, cut them off. Obviously necessary. Alright. Um, I don't know. I mean, these boats are right here. Just move one further south. Don't do a naval landing into a fort where his men massively outnumber you. How's that for basic warfare? What need you? Alright, we have to forget about this side. We're gonna have to go over here. So. Poland first. Um, let's go get a few claims on Tunis. We want to take uh, Tunis, Seuss, Bizerto, Kef. We can only do Tunis and Seuss, I would assume. Why? Oh, and the rest of them. I was thinking it was showing them. Uh, Tunis. And what do we say? Seuss. Maybe Gerba. Leave him there for now. Very splendorous. And admin guy died. Right, so we had that half price level three. We've got four ducats. Didn't we get the half price level three guy? Apparently not. Alright. Um, unrest is a very minor issue. Mystery strength doesn't matter yet. Prestige, I guess, can actually help. Win wars? Fine. And Colding is under attack because we left. England's there, Bohemia's there. I'm talking about Diplotech three years ahead of time. I think not. Actually, we need to keep an eye on. Where is it? This one. Probably except Venetian. Get some extra cash. We're going to have Venetians for a while. Umbrians, I don't know. We can promote two, so yeah, it's pro promote some Umbrian. And now that we're over here, let's go quickly get military access through Lithuania. We've already got it through Muscovy. Must have given it to somebody else. Probably Bohemia. Uh, embargoing, where's this one? Gives access to Bohemia. Good. Now Bohemia have access through Poland and Lithuania as well. So these guys can just go stand in Savalak, actually. So why can we not get to Novgorod? Yeah, that's why it's that far around, it's because of the Novgorod fort. But international nobility, because <clears throat> it's a diplomat, leader without upkeep. Start pushing towards this Imperial Growth Modifier. Now we've got an extra Diplomat. Let's go back to Allies, keep them happy. Ottomans declared on Kara. It's fine, he hasn't even taken care of Karaman yet. We did do Hungary. He hasn't done anything to the Mamluks. So, didn't we... Um, can't remember what the mission is. No, it's the Italian thing. All right. But, improving with the Mamluks, could we get an alliance with them? He rob when did he rival us? We rivaled him, okay. Vaguely remember doing that. And yeah, our guys are letting the Danes come out. How about... Somebody go deal with that, Bohemia. It's probably running through to come this way now. Well... Saxony is, but, well, England's coming through. Don't know where the Bohemians are. Jure is full annexed once more. Hey, uh, Utrecht. How do you feel about not doing that? And we've lost Colding, so we'll lose everything else there. It's easy enough to take them back.
English fleet still haven't figured out how to uh, actually do useful things. And one Novgorod. So let's go. Oh, yeah, this guy. To Neva and Ladoga. So the English go to Sweden. And Kara's already lost the Ottomans. Now I wouldn't mind taking England land, never or something in this war. What's that? Seven. They're both seven. Never's center of trade. Um, still has no air. He's still going to be von Wittelsbach. War goal prevents it. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. You can only take the imperial territory. Um, here, come around to you, Savalax. Oh, and the Saxons are going somewhere useful. Hopefully. And done improving with Muscovy. Why were we doing that? To get the access. It's fine. Maybe he'll break this rivalry. And Diplotech, two years ahead. A little too soon. Now, I know we're way ahead on Poland, we should really check on that. 41 to 24. We've still got a better chance now, everyone, despite our minus two diplo rep from uh, annexation of vassals. Annex subject. Cardinal administration. We didn't do it last time. Can't remember why. We needed the prestige, I think. But this time, tolerance of the true faith, I guess, is going to help with these guys. I have one Vyborg. Let's just get over to Urbu. Ah, oh, forgot I was supposed to be saying yes to all them. Alright, um, one of you come over to Tavasland. One of you go up to Kajanaland. Some of you go to Nyland. Are going there. You go there. Alright, plague! Sure. Mamluks <laughs> declared on Venice. Hopefully, they're trying to take Crete. Can't imagine. Oh, yeah, fabricates there. <laughs> and yeah, Austria's gone up to take the fort back, so that's good. Got our 20 stack standing in here. They have blockaded as we hoped. Stockholm's only level one. Treason against us. This is what we need. Gain army professionalism. This time it's Venezia area. And we we'll just go start meeting up here somewhere. Actually, get up to Anare. Cola is Norwegian. Um, yeah, we really have to get onto the Danish capital to win this, I think. So get around to Vesterbotten. Got enough English up here to keep everyone safe. And you keep this 20 stack here, waiting for a chance to get across. Oh, here goes a naval battle at last. Skagarak, they don't have their bonus. Captured a transport. Okay. End of the Castilian Civil War. Didn't know they had it. And his thing was something about Portugal. Um, isn't it end the historical allies or something? <laughs> Influencing Hijan Kaifa. Fine. Now, there's not many forts. Mountain fort there. Let's go help these English. Occupied Vesterbotten. Um, we'll hang around for a bit because they're coming. Everyone else down this way. Alright, these guys to Jokmok. Alright, I did see somebody sneaking around the back. Can get out on time. Um, I guess if the Swedes are going there. 
and we're going to meet up in Anare. Still going to arrive in Finmark, which is forest. We'll be okay to attack him there. Ottomans declared on the Mamluks. Good for them. Our rivals are attacking each other. And access from Savoy, yes. Everyone else got kicked out of there. I oh, know, took them that long to get the ring results. Alright, so this 16 stack has to have a run at him. It's a 0 2. Alright, time to get a better guy. Florian Moser, a 2 2. Well, he is technically better. England have a 0 3. Now he thinks about coming in. And then he starts walking the other direction. Well, that's not good. Now nah, roll zero at the end. Okay. Well, we had a shot. Plenty of manpower. You don't want to leave here because then you have the Swedes coming over. Oh. They finally got the boats out of the way. Though, not enough to reinforce this. Or to get over to Finn. Well, as long as we get shelling. Alright, we are way down here. He's going a long way around to do other stuff. So, let's just start marching over this way. It's all reinforcements is the money we're losing. Okay, now, I'm going to keep an eye on when we're actually allowed to expand a little again. All the Italians hate us. Fabricate on Bosnia. Does Naples have any claims? Just the cause on Aragon. You know, we'll probably just do Aragon next, because we're going to have to expand a lot down there. So I have Reconquest to do it with. Uh, when's that truce? 98. Okay. The problem with that is we can start integrating Naples in 94, so I have to remember not to do that straight away. The Cassides Mantua to Milan. And the English boats are in position again. He's being a little weird about it. Alright, get that 14 stack on there. And let's get up to Jokmok. Ah, oh, there's all those guys. Alright, um, let's ignore them. Let's get down to Stockholm. Weird time for Milan to enter a coalition against us. And Portugal will have a golden era. Um, we can actually rush this one. He doesn't have artillery in there, though. And we have slipped behind the times. Okay, uh, next military is cavalry shock, infantry fire. Alright, infantry fire would be nice. No, he doesn't even have any guys there. They're behind us anyway. Let's get around to Kalmar. And another free diplomat. Oh, we're on 100 with Tunis. Um, diplomats are for subject countries like Venice. And Unholt, I guess. Alright. 35, negative 21. Uh, we'll do with Prestige. And we could do with combat bonus in the mountains. And he's finally gone to actually do a siege. But we've won Stockholm. Thank you for your capital, Sweden. Yeah, we could just go get Norway's capital really quickly. I don't think it really matters. Now we suffer a call for peace. Oh, we're almost there. Alright, we take Holstein. We lost a gold egg. Um, taking Holstein and transfer the overlordship over family man. That's not what that's supposed to say. <laughs> They've actually got the wrong uh, thing in there. Fine. Overlordship of Sweden to family man. And noble connections. Mercenaries up. Leader siege up. We do need to get another guy. So yeah, we'll do that now. And then Tech 10 
is yeah a couple of decades off before we can get the growth modifier. It's unfortunate. Have we got any chance here yet? No. Get a decent-ish chance. All right, on their way to Colmar, and then we should be good. All right, minus seven. I've taken something back. Well, three sieges are ongoing. The first one of these to finish will uh, get it our way. Although, that could be annoying. Hey, Vladislav has been elected. He was the one four five. It's 51, so we still do need to get in there kind of quickly. We have a 340 trying to get in. 20% chance, better than Brandenburg's, so that's all good. Uh, we still got that minus three until 97, four years. Okay. Better chance than Denmark, good. I think taking just one of these would take us up to mid 80%. 49 to his seven. Do we have like crazy fast sieges? Fertile siege ability is at 7%. Okay. This just must be ridiculously slow. 35 days. Defensiveness is five. There we go. Oh, the same day we lost Novgorod, we took that. So it takes us down to 65. That sucked. Um, we're going to help out the English. Or we're going to go over to Boeslan. After attack Kalmar, we can head down there. And Vyborg is under attack. That's fine. The annoying thing is he went for the one that's actually Danish instead of the Swedish one. We've won Kalmar. So, down to Lunt. Water shortage, nice. By the time we get in there, it's 28, we'll switch to 64. Still only on 70. Money's pretty good. I guess we did start with our capital in the gold mine, so if you have money problems, I don't know, doing something wrong. Alright, now we have Lunt. Takes so up 79. Minus 16. This is okay. It's just the amount of money we're asking for. Just wait until November. Yeah, still not acceptable. <clears throat> okay, so. Coalition's always going to keep going, but we get Sweden this way. So send this demand. Sweden is our vassal. Yeah, so they come in as vassals, not as PU members. Must just be the way it works. And Core Holstein. Swedish liberty desire is unsurprisingly high. Um. <clears throat> So we just placate would be the easiest way to do this. It's actually the only way. Okay. Bring it down to 49, then we can just improve. Actually, we haven't been doing anything there, so three days. Ulv. Firstly, can't get the royal marriage because they're disloyal. That should switch. Um, I guess we just go improve for a month. Yeah, they're not too slow. Um, he needs to be sieging. Let's pick the coalition. Hungry slaves coalition. Genoa's left coalition. I think we're a little scared. Um, if we come through this way, we'll get stuck. So we have to get to Dithmarschen and then come southwards. To there, I guess. Now, war exhaustion. Yeah, the call for peace isn't real. We'll just sit on that then. England is a great power again. Denmark's no longer a valid rival. How are we looking with them under us? Only 525. Okay. Looking nice and strong. Really wish we'd had the Ottomans with us still. Alright, royal marriage needs to be next. So, pull out of vassals and get a quick royal marriage with Sweden 
to get a Von Habsburg there makes things easier later. And yeah, integration of Naples, I think is possible this year. It's actually possible now. Another five, we just have to send a gift. But we don't want to do him until we've gone back to war with Aragon, who is now allied with France. All right, so we have to do it through Florence, who's in the coalition. Um, there we go. Aragon's also allied with Morocco, who we can't declare war on. Um, didn't we... Let me do the thing. Joining the Crusade and paying full maintenance on your armies gives you that. But you don't get a CB on them. Well, you should get a Crusade CB, you would think. Okay, well, let me take a short break here. When we come back, we will uh, keep a bit of an eye on the aggressive expansion still, but otherwise look for somebody else so we can do something similar to. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it, and hope to see you again soon. See you later.